Hi, today I would like to talk about the team-based collaborations in Visual Product products. I will use the Visual Product for UML and the Teamwork Server to demonstrate the teamwork concepts in Visual Product products. Okay, let's start. There are three main features in team-based collaborations. First, it allows you to work concurrently. You don't need to wait other team members to complete the work before you can start and will not step in with each other. And secondly, the teamwork server keeps all the revisions, all your changes on the diagrams on the model repository is kept in revision basis and you can compare between revisions and roll back some changes in case you want to get back the old revisions and also the teamwork servers allow you to discuss the design within the tools you don't need to fire up the skype or any other messengers to discuss and the benefits is also you can keep all the discussions within the server easy to trace the reasons for the design okay let's go through the first working concurrently when we're talking about working concurrently, this means multiple members can work on the same projects and also even the same diagrams. As long as they are not working on the same elements, the server can help you to merge the change of multiple persons into a new revisions. And also thanks to the Visual Product for UML have worked offline model. You can bring your work to your clients without connecting back to the server on the office and you can work and after you finish the design you can go back to office and commit the change and in case two persons working on the same elements in the diagram or same portions of the diagrams you the server will auto detect the the, the conflicts of two persons and it will automatically uh, show you the dialogue you can resolve the change okay let me just show you how it works here on my screen I have two clients one on the left hand side is the uh, login as an uh, Angus and it's already check out the projects and on the right hand side with a metal metal log and fields is a new workspace and it's supposed to demonstrate he is a David that is the second member of the of the team okay let's show you some things on left hand side I have check out the projects the tr projects have a multiple business process diagrams access process to be process and today's I will just work on the access process okay then let me just show you how to check out the projects let me just put this back and then let me just show Sir David and David is just fire up the visual product for UML. So he first thinks is go to the team, open the teamwork clients. And then he can choose to log in as a repository if you already apply the repository or you have a local teamwork server. I just log in as a local. And then you can type in the host. I have hosted in the local network. And this is a David. Visualprogram.com and password and I just log in and after login you see there is an open projects dialogs I have one project assigned to me this is the fire safety department which is same as Angus on the last applications I showed so I just select this one I click open then the server will check out the projects and open for you and basically you can start working on it immediately okay let me just close the print you see I have the access process here so now in both left and right they have the same projects check out okay let me just go to Angus one and I can make the change on the projects you can see I make some change like select application case I saying it's not up next week this is the next month and I can also do some change. I add some tasks between. I insert a task. 
which is a um, uh, verified uh, contact, something like that. Uh, used to be the office assistant to do this work. Okay, I made the change, and then I can commit my change to the server. I just click commit, and then you can browse the change on the dialog box to make sure what you have changed is what you need. And I can write a comment, say that at verify contacts, something like that. And I post the commit, then it will send to the server. Okay, let's go back to David. On David, you see this is an old versions. And never mind, I just make the change on the other part. For example, follow up the case and close the inspections report. I would like to add something that follow up the case and then and this need to follow up schedule. Uh, another inspection, something like that. I insert a task. You see, I'm doing on the other portions of the diagrams. I just want to show you quite extreme, two persons working on the same diagrams. Okay, then I can commit my change at the same time. Then I just commit my change. And in the commit dialog, you can see what I have changed. I just change to add a schedule and other inspections. Or you can filter to see the update. Update means what is other change during my editing. So you see this is another person to add a verified context uh, to the server. So I think it's okay that merge both. Then I will add schedule and other inspections. And then I commit the change. And after commit, you can see, let's scroll back. You see the inspection case for next month is committed. It's already pulled from server from other team member and verify the contact. You see we working, I simulate to you working concurrently with two members. And they both the work can keep. I just showed you a very typical usage. That's two persons working on different um, portions of the diagrams. Let me show you a more extreme situation that two persons working on the same elements. Let's go to Angus workspace. And this time I changed the name again. This is um, pick up inspections, something like that. Just very simple change. And then I commit to the server. Okay, that's all. And let's go to David. And as same as last time we showed, if David have an update, the change, so he want to make the change again, <clears throat> he will say it is an um, select inspections and uh, automatically, something like that. And then he made the change to commit. This time, instead of showing the change to him, we show a conflict dialog box. There is a one conflict on the projects. You see, this is a pickup inspections. You can see the differences. In the server, it is a pickup inspections. And original value, before I make change, it is select inspection case for next month. And select inspection for automatically is what I just added. So you can decide I want to overwrite the server or I want to follow the server to use the pickup inspections. I pick overwrite, then I click overwrite, and next. Then it will send you to the normal commit dialog box to show you what you have changed. It select inspections automatically. Then I just commit my change. So my change is sent to the server. Okay, let's go back to Angus. And on Angus side, if I go to update, click the update, then you will see there is a change. It's renamed. From select inspect from pickup inspections to select inspection automatically. Then I just update. Then you will see Angus also got the changes from David automatically. Let's move on then another topics. Keeping all revisions. In teamwork server, when you commit the change to the server, it will automatically produce a revisions. One revisions will contains all the changes you just made. 
So you can compare the changes between different revisions. Then you can know the histories of specific elements or specific diagrams. And thanks to the visual histories functions, you can even restore the old revisions to local without big effort. You just need to click fill buttons, then you can get the old revisions back. That can save a lot of time if you make it some mistake on the server or you want to get back part of the model elements from the server. That's very helpful. Okay, let me just show you how the visual history works. Okay, I go back to the visual product for UML and this is the Angus workspace. Okay, we can continue to here because we just need one, one person to reveal the change. You can go to the team and select the visual histories menu. You select it. Then it will fire up a dialog to show you the current versions and the change in the last versions on side by side. You can compare, say, in all the revisions, you see this is a pickup inspections and all the revisions that is, uh, let's see, select inspections for next month. And also, let me see, and things special, let's go back to earliest revisions. You see there is a new task in the current revisions, but in quite all revisions, we don't have a scheduled inspection case, something like that. So. I can switch back and forth to compare the differences and you can see the changes it's marked as a symbol here this is changed it and for example I still like the select inspection case for next month then instead of I copy the text and input again I can click in this uh, call out I click on it and it will see the details I can click revert then it will revert to the same select inspection case for next week then I can done and I can commit my change select inspection case for next week I commit then you will see the changes is select inspection case so you see I can bring back certain values certain um, changes back to the current versions and send it back to the server as in current versions is revert the change of select inspections case so I can commit the change to the server so you can see if the server keeps all the revisions and helps you to roll back with the visual histories okay let's move on to the last topics we would like to discuss in the teamwork server you can also post a comment on specific diagram elements or in specific diagrams that to share your uh, views and the others, your team members will get notified. It. And also you can watch a diagram. Watch means you you were interested on specific diagrams. Then when everybody, anybody commit the change to the server, you will be get notified in a dashboard of a postmania. Let me just show you how it works. Okay, now we go back to the collaborative environment because we're talking about commenting. So it's better to have two persons working side by side. And left hand side again is Angus, right hand side is the David. Okay, I can go to the team. In the team, you see there is a function called Postmania. We have a Postmania page and Postmania topic print. Let's go to the Postmania page first. When you click it, it will fire up another window. This is Postmania. And now it's brand because I haven't posted any comments on it. And later on, we will see what is this. And I can click another menu. This is a Postmania topic print. Then I turn it on. Then when I select the diagram, you will see there is a more print, another print showing here is the topic prints. So I can discuss, for example, I select the elements. I want to enhance, I want to request David to put more information. Then I can new topics and say need more information. And notify, I notify David, click OK. And then I will say David, Please add more documentations. 
to the task. Now it's too brief. Something like that. Then I just post my comment. Then the comment need more information is so posted to the task. Then let me go back to David. I just open. And I can do the same thing as so open the Postmania page. I open the page. And in page, you see here we have a number one here, and also we have a number one here. One means there's one message for you, so you can click notify me. Then you will see the comments. David, please add more information. This is from Angus. And I would like to open what he means. Then I click open. Then it will select the task for me and the comments. Say he need me to add more information. Then I just go to the documentation train. I add more information, something like that. Then I just commit my change. Just commit. Just close it. And then I think it's okay. I already add information. Then I just close reply. So finish. Press check. Then I just post my change back. Then I already post back to Angus. Okay, let's put the sign on the sign. And come back in David you see this is already a one is showing here it means there's a new message then I can click it to open the page you see in reply me oh David is already finished the work I can open it. and before I can see the change I have to update then I just click update the change I update from server and then you see add more information is showing here then you can see I have the comments is showing in the in the side by side on the print. And instead of just showing discussing the comment, I can also watch the diagrams. I can there is a thread on the right hand side. You can click this one to watch the diagram. I click it. When I click this one, Later on, when there is a change on the diagrams, I will be get notified that let me just switch to David. And assume David now is working on the diagram intensively. He modified the contacts, verified the contact from customer. And not just David, but anyone to commit the change to the server. When I commit the change to server, I may make a lot of change. Uh, schedule inspections uh, based on location, something like that. I can put empty things, make a lot of commit. Then, if I make the commit to the server, if I fire up the tools in Angus, you will see there is an update showing here, watching the diagram. I just click, it shows it's committed a few times, modified by Wong. David Bong. So you can see I can get notified that for any change I'm interested. I can just click open and I can update of course to get the change. You see verify contacts from customers, resize the task, everything is here. So I will not uh, miss any important change. Thank you for watching this video and have a good day.